Hello, and welcome to Learning the Tarot with Lady Shia. I've been in the past and working with tarot for 35 years. In this video, you'll learn more about the basics of tarot and the Rider Waite system. The tarot deck is a deck of cards with a specific set of meanings that can vary slightly from deck to deck. This is a divination system that uses the images of the cards to convey meaning, provide insight and direction, and give guidance based on allegory and archetypes of the basic human conditions. It does not require a specific psychic or clairvoyance gift to use the tarot. Divination by cartomancy is available for use to anyone who wishes to learn. While those with a psychic or intuitive gift will often get information deeper into the cards or even beyond what the cards directly portray, Anyone can use the archetypes of the tarot to seek guidance for their lives. There are several systems of tarot, including the major ones of the Rider Waite and the Soth Tarot. It is important to note that the oracle cards are not tarot, and the meanings of oracle cards can vary widely between the decks. Each oracle deck has its own set of meanings, number of cards, and are to be learned individually per deck. Whereas the tarot, once learned, can have the basic meanings of each card understood between the decks, meaning you can read off a new tarot deck the moment you open it up. To learn more about the history of the tarot and a more in-depth discussion of oracle cards, you can refer to the History of the Tarot video on the Mentorship Circle and the Oracle of Dreams guide section in the Mentorship Circle. The Rider Waite system is the most often used tarot system available. There's an actual Rider Waite deck that has been adapted many times that is very bright and vivid with basic yet rich imagery and colors that is rife with symbolism. Most tarot decks follow the same structure as the Rider Waite decks and hold the same meanings, but different artists will interplay their own imagery and interpretations on the cards. The cards themselves will carry the same basic meanings between the decks, but each deck will read slightly differently based on the imagery and the general overall impression of the deck's artistry overall. When learning the tarot, I suggest learning with the Rider Waite system, but I don't feel you have to learn on the actual Rider Waite deck if that doesn't call to you. I'll be using the Tarot of Dreams to teach in my mentorship circle. However, you can use any Rider Waite deck system to follow along with the basic meanings of each card and place your own interpretations on the card based on the artistry of the deck. The Rider Waite system consists of five basic divisions, the Major Arcana, the Earth Suit, the Air Suit, the Fire Suit, and the Water Suit. Rider Waite system decks consist of 78 cards. The major arcana, as you see scrolling on the screen, includes 21 numbered cards and one unnumbered card, which is the Fool. The Fool is the main character of the major arcana and makes his journey through each of these cards, meeting new teachers and learning new life lessons along the way, and eventually reaching the completion of his journey and the true beginning of his life of wisdom with the world card. This is known as the Fool's Journey and is a helpful way of understanding the storyline of the Major Arcana Tarot card and meanings. You can find my story of the Fool's Journey in the Tarot unit on my Mentorship Circle and on my YouTube channel. The Major Arcana Tarot cards represent the life lessons, karmic influences, and the big archetypical themes that are influencing your life and your soul's journey to enlightenment. The major arcana represent the structure of human consciousness and hold the keys to life lessons passed down through the ages. When you see a major arcana card in a tarot reading, you're being called to reflect on the life lessons and themes that are currently being experienced at this time. A major arcana card will often set the scene for an entire tarot reading, with the other cards relating back to the core major arcana meaning. 
When a tarot reading is predominantly made up of the major arcana cards, you are experiencing life-changing events that will have long-term effects. There are important lessons that you must pay attention to in order to progress further in your spiritual and personal quest. If many of the major arcana cards are reversed, however, it may be a sign that you're not paying enough attention to these important life lessons, and you need to first master the lesson before being able to move forward. The rest of the 56 cards are the suits, otherwise known as the minor arcana, which are symbols that represent the elements of earth, air, fire, and water. Each suit consists of numbered cards from 1 to 10, and four card co court cards, otherwise known as face cards, which are the page, the knight, the queen, and the king, that are the archetypical characters in the minor suits. Beginning with Earth, this suit is normally represented by pentacles, coins, discs, or some other round shape representing the material world and or material or concrete resources. The Earth suit represents elements of foundation, structure, stability, nature, the body, resources, and the material and concrete world. The Air suit is normally represented by swords, feathers, birds, knives, or some other sharp or air-style object, including incense. The suit symbolizing air focuses on the mind, thought patterns, logic, ideas, intellect, and communication. The fire suit is often symbolized by wands, staffs, cudgels, sticks, torches, or some other flammable object, or even flame itself. Fire in the tarot focuses on passion, action, goals, inspiration, motivation, desire, willpower, or ambition. The water suit is most often represented by cups of any kind. There is most often some sort of vessel containing water or just simple water related objects or bodies of water on the cards or even just empty cups. Water is most readily associated with the realm of emotions. Water touches on themes of feelings, intuition, relationships, mental health and spiritual themes that affects one's emotionality. You can also read the minor arcana of the tarot using a normal deck of playing cards once you understand the basic meanings of each card. Water, for example, is represented by hearts. Spades are air. Clubs are fire. Diamonds are earth. And, of course, you would be missing the page on the minor arcana, yet the jacks would end up being your knights. Queens, of course, are queens and kings are kings. My recommended method for learning the Rider Waite system of the tarot consists of understanding the fool's journey first and foremost, then learning the cards once a day, meditating on the personal meaning of each card with your preferred deck of study, as well as the basic underlining meaning of the card itself. Even if you choose to learn the basics of the whole deck at a much faster rate, it's good to go through each card with the once a day method to really get the deeper intricacies of each archetype that the card represents so that it becomes more personal and integral to your divination practice and your life. Once you understand enough of the tarot, you can begin on readings, which is the process of asking a question and laying out the cards in different spreads or layouts, where each location holds a specific meaning that would give significance to each card placed in that spread. In this unit, we will have a video on each of the 78 cards using the Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti. And then we will have a video on various spreads and practice readings. You can eventually create spreads of your own to fit your needs, 
or get one of the many spreads ideas available on the internet to suit your needs. I'll be teaching a spread of my own design, which is a variation of the Celtic cross spread, which has more depth and insight to it that I created over 25 years ago, and I've used it frequently ever since. If you are a regular on my live tarot readings, you'll see me using all types of spreads, and you can ask me about their significance on there. I hope this helps and blesses you and encourages you to begin learning divination through the tarot for yourself. Blessed be.